ladies and gentlemen, and today we are here to take a look at the first shots of the Beretta 92D. The Beretta 92D is a very obscure variant of the Beretta 92. The Beretta 92 is, of course, one of the most popular pistols, well, pretty much ever. This really kind of rivals the 1911 in popularity in terms of pistols. Now, I wanted a Beretta 92 for some time. This is a pistol that I actually looked at many years ago when I was looking for my very first centerfire handgun. It really vied with the Smith & Wesson Model 5946 for my affections. It lost out to the Smith & Wesson 5946 because that particular one that was being sold that day only had a 14-round magazine instead of a 15-round magazine, and the 5946 was stainless. Well, now, in the space year 2019, I finally have my Beretta 92D. Now, the Beretta 92D can be differentiated from the more popular variant, the Beretta 92FS, by the fact that it, this is what is referred to as double action only. In fact, all you gotta do is just pull it back on the trigger and fire. It has a very long, very pronounced double action, but a very smooth one at that. And it doesn't hamper accuracy in any way, shape, or form. Now, today, I'm going to be shooting 50 rounds of 115 grain Fiocchi. Seeing as how this is an Italian-derived pistol, it's uh, proper to shoot in Italian ammo. Now, this, of course, is not an Italian Beretta. This is, in fact, a Beretta manufactured in the United States. You see, there's import restrictions and laws and things of that nature, so many of these uh, foreign companies will actually build factories in the United States. And Beretta is, of course, one of them. Now then, this is the first time I've ever shot a Beretta 92, and this is the first time I've held a Beretta 92 in almost 10 years, ladies and gentlemen. So with that, let's take it out to the range and see if I can hit anything with it. Turn down and aim it before you run out of bullets. And as you can see, I was able to at least hit the paper with this bloody thing. One of the things you have to remember when it comes to firing a new gun is that you gotta get used to the sights, and you gotta get used to trigger pull, and things of that nature. And thankfully, I was able to figure it out pretty quickly, actually. Uh, one of the things to keep in mind, though, when it comes to the Beretta, is that you need to line up the sight, the rear sight, with the top of the front sight. Uh, that's something that I was unaware of and you'll see in some later shooting footage me actually getting used to that and hitting the target a little bit better. Now, I'm going to turn this over to my grandfather. You see, many years ago, in fact, shortly before I was even born, he actually had a Taurus PT-92, 
which was the Taurus-derived clone of the Beretta 92. Now, for those who do not know, Taurus is a Brazilian firearms manufacturer, and Beretta used to manufacture Beretta 92s in Brazil. Taurus bought up all the tooling and hired all the original workers and turned out some copies that were more or less like the Beretta 92. However, there was one major difference. Now, on a more normal Beretta 92, there will be a slide-mounted safety slash decocker. On the Taurus PT-92, there will actually be a frame-mounted one. Seeing, now, seeing as how this is a Beretta 92D model, it doesn't actually have either one of those things and just relies on the heavy trigger pull to be the safety. So with that, let's turn this over to an expert and see how an expert can handle this firearm. That's right, you don't get a safety with these cheap goods. That's not cheap! <laughs> cheap goods. That was expensive! And as we can see, ladies and gentlemen, Gramps did way better than I did. His target, of course, uh, well, let's put it this way. He was able to get a lot of shots in a very small group after not having shot this thing for probably 20 years. The fact is, though, he was an expert with it and won many a competition with it, and so it makes sense that he would outshoot me by a considerable margin. I just need a little more practice. And before I ran out of ammo, I actually was able to get a few better hits. And so let's take a look at those. Is that you touching? Yes, it is. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So, what we can tell from this is, is that not all guns are created equal. Not all guns are shot the same. Uh, don't get discouraged when you start shooting. Because you might not know how exactly to shoot what firearm you do have. So when we started, we got this scatter shot thing here. And when we finished, we got two touching right there. Uh, so the Beretta has to be shot a little differently from some other <laughs> firearms, so keep that in mind if you do get one of these. I would have to get a lot more trigger time, uh, but I can tell you this, ladies and gentlemen, this is an excellent handgun. The Beretta 92 is still popular to this day uh, for very good reasons. Uh, the trigger pull on this thing is pretty good. I might not actually upgrade it. We'll just have to see. Uh, but for now, I am General Lots. Wish you good. Beretta 92. D model. Or whatever makes you happy. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing, and if you can, please consider supporting me on Patreon so that I can continue bringing you this awesome content.